Let's go, ball. Yeah, uh, all the youngins in my hood popping perks now. Getting high to get by, it's getting worse now. You gotta tell them, put them guns in them perks down. Them new jails got 10 yards in them, and that's your first down. Uh, and I ain't coming to preach. I just had to say something, cause I'm the one with the reach. Youngin' got a quarter ounce, he tryna turn in a meat. Ain't had no daddies, had to learn from the streets. I used to be an honorable student, damn, then I turned to a beast. The first time I seen him get some blood on his sneaks. He had on MX 93s, but was slumped in the street. His mama crying at this son to me. Oh Lord, this shit I'm doing for my hood, I want everybody's pretty nice, everyone's pretty focused at the same time. No one really wants to converse. But it's okay, I get it. There, I, I made one little comment to someone, I was like, hey, you know, it's good to uh, get a run in like this early. And the guy was like, yeah, how often do you get to do some drills? And I was like, you don't get them that often. So, once in a blue moon, once in a blue coat, might as well make it work. And you know what? You know what I have to do? I have to know every single play. Because that's what it's, that's what's going to get me ahead of everybody else. On to the next one, right? Oh, OT. Hour number two. OTT. Hour two, here we go. Now I'm locked up in the prison, call her mama like I shouldn't have did it Watch my dream shatter in the instant I'm on a visit, posing for the picture Like I'm going for my prime or something Like I ain't facing time or something Riding for these like that shit, they hurt my mama or something Only one gon' give me commissary, even buy me something When it all fall down, I can't call y'all now Even if I hit your phone, that won't get me home Seen so many different times, these did me wrong That's the reason that I did this song Kids used to play on the step A couple years later we flirting with the angel of death I was 11 years old, I got my hands on the tech When I first- I feel good, that was a good collective team effort I'm excited to ride the momentum in the next one Could've been better, I had a turnover I think that Switched the tide, shifted the tide in the lead uh, But they ended up putting us, you know, a little back But hey, my, I trust my teammates, they let a good comeback They hit a couple threes, some perimeter shots And put us back in the game, so let's ride it out to the next one Yeah. Weezy, huh? Weezy, huh? Weezy, huh? Back home smoking legal. legal. I got more slaps than the Beatles. Foot running on diesel, dog. Playing with my name, this shit is lethal, dog. Who you say what? Don Corleone. Trust me, at the top it isn't lonely. Everybody acting like they know me, dog. Don't just say it down, you gotta show me what you gotta do. Bring the clip back empty. Yeah, asked to see the ball, so they sent me, dawg. I just broke off with a 10 piece, dawg. There ain't nothing, I'm just being friendly, dawg. Dave, he brings energy. He's a good player. He's gonna slow down a little bit, just a little bit, but he can shoot, he can pass, he can do his, he does his thing. When defense comes at him, a little, the hand was a little shaky, that's really what it is. And he rushes the shot just a little bit, so, you know, it's not as consistent. Do you think he has a shot to make the team? Please the fifth. <laughs> yeah. how, how, did, how did you feel? I felt great. I mean, personally, I felt great. Like, I felt like I was, you know, going hard in the drills, trying to be vocal, you know, all the intangibles that I have that'll set me forward, I feel like I showcased that. I just thought it was really great to be out there on the floor, like in a good competitive environment, because no matter what level, pros, college, intramural, you want to give it your best because that's when the game's the most fun. I just felt like we were having fun out there. And Coach Lon did a good job of, you know, making it really, we wanted to go out there and get it. Like, he was like, go get buckets. So we went and got him. So how, what, what percentage of a chance did you think you had making the team before the tryout? And then what percentage of a chance did you think you have to make the team after the tryout? I had a 98.9% .9 chance of making it before going in, I think. It's not definite, but I thought it was up there. I and thought then, it was almost pretty sure fire. And how about now? 0.01. My height, big disadvantage. Weight, big disadvantage. Shooting one for seven in a pickup game, big disadvantage. You can't give up hope, so that's why I leave the point zero one. Yeah, he has. He had absolutely no shot making the team from the start. So how do you think he did, David? Yeah. Oh man. It, well, first of all, it was, it was a hell of a show. And I'm really proud of the effort he gave, and he was hustling. I saw some steals out there, but did I think he's gonna make the team? If that's what you're asking me, absolutely not. You've been taking video all day. You've been watching him, you've been watching others, basically run up and down the court. So like, what did you think about Dave's performance? Listen, 
I saw a guy, like it was nothing, rise up about six feet and just destroy the rim with the ball. If that dude can't make the team, my favorite moment from today was uh, when we were practicing free throws. We were all like around the uh, charity strike and everyone was taking the turn shooting free throws and I was the last one. And when it was my turn, they were like, all right, next drill. And I was just like, oh man. Well, like as soon as that happened, I was like, all right, this was a good dream. This is a good thought. <laughs> In a hard way, but got a sticky and I keep it at my dog's place. Girl, I left you love it, magic, not saw shade. Still going bad on you anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. I can feel ah. like 80 rats in my Marys. Me and Drizzy back to back is getting scary. Back to back. Did you say you're here? Yeah. For why you thought you were here. Yeah, you know, I'm an honest man, and I'm not gonna lie, it, it hurts a little bit, but I'm, I'm still excited to be a part of the organization. I felt like I gave it my all, I gave it my best, and showcased my skills to the best of my ability, but I gotta, just gotta live with the results. What, what were the questions that you asked Matt? Like, what was his response to you not getting the contract? Well, based off me, you know, not hearing anything yet, I asked him straight up, I was like, Matt, David Fencer of the fifth quarter, um, I understand that you guys had an open trial. Going back to the first, um, question about reconstructing the roster. I, I'm unaware of the status of my uh, trial with the team, and I was wondering if I made the team or not, because I, I didn't see a jersey for me, oh. but I'm here at media day, and I was just wondering your thoughts on that. So for right now, don't have a roster spot for you, but we'll, we'll oh, see geez. how things change over the season. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. So what are, what are some life lessons that you've learned in this project? Um, first and foremost, never give up. Uh, Second of all, whenever you're out there on the floor, you, you want to give it your best because when you're at your best, that's what people are going to remember you by. You want to leave behind a legacy, something that stands out. So last but not least, you know, you can't choose your parents. So, I was not blessed with the height G. I think I'm going to go back at it again. I'm hitting the gym tomorrow and I'm getting right back on the horse. Or right back on the coat, I should say. Did it broad day.